So finally getting around to making a bench for my garage. I've been meaning to do this for many years now. Um, and obviously overthinking it. So I've designed this bench around the top. Um, as from our local hardware store, they sell a piece of plywood which is 30 mils thick, which I believe is going to be thick enough for what I require at this stage. Um, and it's got a length of 2250 mils and a width of 600, which is a nice good um, size for my area that I'm going to put the bench. So I was pretty happy with that. And then what I've done is I've decided for the frame to use a design that I saw on a website or a blog. I think it was Anna White. Um, and the reason I like this is that it all it just used all one dimensional um, timber. So I didn't have to worry about finding different pit sizes, etc. So and it looked fairly simple, nice and rigid, and something that I reckon I could probably put together. So let's just have a look and show you what it looks like without the top on, show you what the design of the frame looks like. So as you can see, uh, the legs are made up in an L shape, which I've seen work very well and a lot of people use them in different videos and uh, designs I've seen people put together. Uh, so that seems fairly sturdy enough. Um, then we've got the top aprons here, which join on the inside. Um, and then the rails, bottom and bottom and top rails, same size. On the bottom, the bottom of the bottom rail, they've got put in little blocks here to make a little bit of extra uh, firmness, um, a little more stability, I think. Um, and strength and then we've just put in some bottom stretches here uh, just to help racking and, and keep it a little bit more stable so as you can see it's it's pretty pretty um, looks like a pretty straightforward design um, so I reckon I should be should handle this pretty well um, the other things I liked about it is that underneath the sides and then also at the back here you've got a little lip that's created which will be quite handy when I want to use the clamps. And then on the one edge here, you can see there's quite a bit of a hang, uh, overhang. And that is where I'm going to put my existing vise. So there's the cut list I'm going to work through. Um, using my new saw to make it a lot easier. Uh, decided to create a bit of a, a stop, a length stop, just to make it a, a little bit of a quicker process to get through these. Um, it's all just part of the learning process at the moment for me, trying to get used to the saw and what the best ways of to use it. Luckily I had my dad on hand, he was over for the holidays, he gave me a hand of this. And then we just worked through cut by cut. Just ticking off the list as we went. Right, so next is the legs. So I'm just going to use uh, the L shape method here, which I've seen a lot, quite a few people use. Um, as you'll notice, I'm not planing down the material, I'm just using it as is. Um, that's one of the things I find quite intimidating when watching all the other videos, because um, I just don't have the tools um, to do that. Oh, I don't have the power tools to do that anyway. Um, so I just gone with it as is so there will be gaps no doubt but we'll see how it all turns out yeah I'm just putting the blocks in um, and this is where the bottom stretches will go 
So it's just a hundred mil in height. So I'm just using some Gorilla Glue to chuck that all together. And then it's going to give that all a good clamp and just leave it to dry for a while. Right, time to get the aprons attached to the legs. Just doing a, a dry run of what it should look like. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. So I've just moved things around to make it a little easier. I'm using truck keep them as square as possible using the clamp to hold it down while I screw them in and just rinse and repeat that so again just making sure everything is square using your square there now you can see what I mean about there could be some gaps so you need to double check so I just had to redo that one really using the clamps to try to keep it as tight as possible while I re-screw it it all came out alright in the end so when I started thinking about putting the rails together I noticed something wasn't quite right so it turns out that I've actually put the aprons on to the legs the wrong way. I should have had the apron attached to the short surface on the inside of the L-shaped leg. Um, so I said to quickly pull it apart and just change that over. Lucky I haven't used glue, um, but this is a quick easy fix get it all upright and ready to then get started on the rails. Once that is all fixed up, it's pretty easy just to get the bottom rails in place. Uh, just gave it a quick clamp, pre-drilled, chuck the screws in. As you can see, always just making sure that everything's square as possible. Now, when I got to the top rails, that's when I noticed actually I had to cut off a little extra just to get the right distance for the for the top to go on. So I was off to the 600 mil on the top. So I had to just nip off little sections just to get it right. took a few goes but all in all it was pretty straightforward I'll tell you what I could use could have used a few more clamps that's definitely something I'll be getting a few more of next next was a nice easy job of just chucking in the bottom stretches onto the bottom rails uh, just put two screws in each side and then it's nice and quick and easy. So after that is all done, it's just a matter of getting the top put into place. So I just cleared out the area of where I wanted the bench to end up to make sure that it will fit it right and was pretty pleased with the outcome there um, and then what I did was just measured where I wanted the screws to go there were, there were quite a few gaps in those joints there so I was going to make sure the screw went into a decent flat piece of timber
So I was just using thinner screws here. I can't remember what the dimensions were now, but I just screwed them quite deeply so that there was nothing protruding. So that when I've got working on something on the surface, it won't interfere. And then I just gave the top a quick sand. I think I just like to use an 80 grit or something like that, and then just round it over the edges. That's it. That's it. And I've got to say, I was pretty impressed with the outcome. I was, it was a great project to do, very easy, straightforward. Um, and now it looks like I've got no excuses to put off all the other projects on my list. Hope you enjoyed.